Hey guys, so this is a uh, Fireland Oregon City Play Care follow-up video. Um, got it like nine months ago from Curtis Blue Lions, and Jordan was really good once again. I can't say anything negative about that company. It's been very good. Um, so once again, nine months of wear and tear in use. I'm going to kind of go over it. Uh, so far, I really can't find too much like wear and tear other than like, like this has been obviously used to it. You can tell where the paint's faded. Um, <clears throat> I get a cold, sorry guys. Um, also, you can see the colors fading here. No matter how much I wash it, it stays this like dingy gray look, but whatever. It gets used. Um, the only thing I was worried about when I first got it was, uh, it's a little like plastic piece of worried but like this part ripping off the zipper and it never has. So, you know, good on Fireland for that. Um, got some fraying up here, obviously. It's like, it's just everyday wear and tear stuff. I'm gonna back up so you can see this. But, um, while I have it out, let me, uh, kind of go over what I have on it. So up here, I got my Garden Angel light. Guys, listen, don't judge my window, okay? I know my dog is destroyed it. So Garden Angel light, party on. Woo, woo. <clears throat> I have a HSGI, uh, bleeder pouch with a cat's tourniquet. Got my trauma shears. I got a press dressing in here along with a NPA and a chest seal. Um, I have a bigger medical bag in my bag. Up here, as you can see, I got some uh, good old Narcan. Um, this is where my radio usually goes. It runs up doop -doop -doop -doop, and it goes over here, it hooks into here, um, or down here, depending on how I feel that day. Usually it's here. Sometimes I get right and put it here, depending on what I'm doing. Don't judge me, guys. Um, so HSGI mag pouches with my Glock 17 mags, X2 taser. This is my Axon camera to go. Uh, mag pouch, I think it's a S Tech pouch. Um, 20 round mag for my AR. Got my ASP handcuffs along with my HSGI, um, yeah, handcuff case. Got a knife here, just a little folder. Uh, I didn't show you my pen, the pen and a Zach tool handcuff key so like i said um it's pretty much what i'm running for equipment obviously you're not seeing the radio and the body cam but that's okay um it's dirty like i said you can tell i've washed it but and with of course with animals it definitely shows with black um that's my biggest regret i think i think if i had to do this all over again i would still get a spireland oregon city carrier but I would definitely get it in royal blue versus black. I mean, royal blue definitely doesn't show as much dirt, as you can tell, as the uh, black one. It doesn't matter. I mean, this carrier has been great. Um, I like this carrier over a lot. I mean, I, I've had other carriers like uh, Armor Light, uh, Armor Express. There you go, Armor Express. Um, this one actually holds my equipment better, and honestly, it just it's just a better all carrier. Once again, Jordan from Curtis Blue Lions was able to get me a pretty good deal on this and I'm still forever grateful for that because when I bought this um, everything I bought was self-funded so it was a, a good help to uh, have them hook me up like that so guys um yeah just to wrap it up this is just the nine month review of the Safariland Oregon City Carrier I hope that this helps you guys if you guys are still looking for carriers I know that my other video the original one got a lot of views to it and I'm hoping that help people make decisions <clears throat> anyway guys have a good night